All right, we're gonna replace the seals on the piston here. Um, I got my spanner wrench and stuff for the for the seals. Got to pop the seals off under these two bolts here, and hopefully get this off nice and easy. Um, we'll see. Gotta be careful not to mar the piston. Maybe you pull this off, but um, let's get into it. We're gonna try to break this loose, break this loose first. Here's our uh, cylinder seal replacement kit right here and it's for the instructions. Got the, got this kit from West Marine. These seals might be okay. There's a little bit of fluid on them, but for peace of mind, I'm already replacing that. Just thinking to myself, I might as well do this too because the last thing I want is for us to get everything else done and have to come back and replace this and for sanity. This makes sense. All right, here's our kit. Here's our paper cylinder seal kit. Goes over the stuff and tells you what it fits for. We have the HC5345. And this kit covers several. Here's the list of them. I'll put down in the description before too, but here's H3, HC5345. So we've got new O-rings for our nipples here and here. We've got new seals in the seal nylon sleeve to slide them on without messing up the uh, O-rings. Um, the spanner wrench and it has a knockout for you to put in a wrench as well. Get some more torque on it. But we're going to replace everything in here, all the good stuff. Got that one broke loose, we're going to go side break the other one loose. For a couple seasons and if it comes down to it doesn't seem like it runs good or the uh it's just not good on gas and we're just dying for trying to keep it filled we're gonna end up repowering it with something and all of this will mount up to the other stuff so uh, to a new outboard so it's just for us it's one of those things where we're placing that in this we can use it for the next item we decide to use for our, our retail. side to get all the parts off of this one and once I got it off I had to get the other bracket to come loose because it was seized on the threads and you'll see I get a rubber mallet and a wooden stick and just kind of lightly tap it off I bolted the other side on as you see now to get hold it in place while I was tapping so that see what happens so this is where I am tapping it off and it took a little while end up hitting it with some deep creep and then continue tapping it and it eventually came off
take your time with this. Use something like the Seafoam Deep Creep to spray on that area that's kind of being troublesome and let it soak for a few few minutes. And then use a, I used a rubber mallet and a wooden stick because you do not want to scratch this piston up because it will tear up your seals. So make sure you stay on top of that and use something that's not abrasive to that piston because if you mess it up, you're either going to have to try to fix it or buy a new one. And I did not want to spend any more money on this process. Not the best thing to do but I left the nut over on that side to keep the piston from going back and forth because there's a diaphragm in here I would have messed it up um, I don't think you can rebuild the diaphragm but we'll see what happens but here it is sprayed some deep creep in there this stuff is amazing the rib works really well got my rubber mallet and a wooden block I don't want to scar this up and, uh, did the trick. There we go. Piston feels really good. Feels really clean. Got a bunch of Mars in it or nothing, and yeah, sweet. Clean this junk out real quick, and that's gonna do it for these. So we'll go ahead and unscrew this the rest of the way. <clears throat> Got some fluid left in there. So this gasket is shot. There's the O-ring. We'll show the wife. <clears throat> so the outer O-ring here that seals here is in good shape. The O-ring on the internal is where it's messed up and dry rotten. So it's a good thing I got this kit. Working with an old boat, you can almost guarantee if one thing's messed up, the other one probably will be too. And um, that guess was right. So there's that. Go ahead and Get this cleaned up. But, um, Under looks decent. Okay, let's get the other side off. So here it is, and it's it is ever so slightly different. This is a wrench for a uh, grinder. You could probably modify it and make it work if you really wanted to. I'll save you some money. Feels not as bad, but. Okay, 
guys mentioned, it comes with comes with the nylon bushing to protect the threads. Slide it over here on the cap like that. Get you some of the grease or the hydraulic fluid. Move the piston shaft up. Slide it on. Here's our nylon bushing. Sliding it on. This is lubed up. Spin it a little bit. I'm not going hog wild with the grease. Just, uh, just we have to just keep it lubricated up a little bit. That's all. seals have been replaced now I'm gonna pull my nipples off here place these seals um, look at the schematic again see the other seals gonna be replaced and go from there let's do that <laughs>
this does come with extra o-rings and looking at the schematic here the o-rings are for the bleeder bleeder valves the six has an asterisk next to it and it says parts included in hs5157 so if you have that c star piston these are your different these are the different configurations for the o-rings for part number six but other than that that's it guys i'm gonna get set up we're gonna bleed this guy I'm just gonna be hooking a hose. I'm gonna hook a hose up to each other and we'll bleed at the helm and see what happens.